from the video, we can see that we need ingredients. We need peppers, vinegar, salt, garlic, sugar. We need a factory, warehouses to store all those barrels, plastic bottles, and lots of different machinery and people to run that machinery. So we've got labor, we had trucks and grinders and all sorts of different types of equipment. Right, so here you can see lots and lots of different types of specific inputs. We could break them down into these four broad categories, but what we're most interested in, whether or not the input is fixed or variable. What we mean by that is how does the input change with the scale of production? So a fixed input does not change with the scale of production, how much we are producing. But a variable input is gonna change depending on how much we produce. And we're gonna use these fixed and variable terms, not just for inputs, but also for costs later on. So this is a really important distinction that we make. In the context of the Sriracha factory, let's go ahead and classify inputs as either fixed or variable. So we'll highlight our fixed inputs in yellow and our variable inputs in green. The question that you wanna ask yourself is, if you wanna make more Sriracha, say 100 extra bottles of Sriracha, if you wanna make 100 extra bottles of Sriracha, what do you need more of? Clearly, we need more ingredients, right? We need more peppers, more vinegar. We're going to need more bottles. And we probably will need more labor or at least more hours of labor to produce that sriracha. But we're not necessarily going to need a whole new factory or a second warehouse just to make 100 extra bottles of sriracha. Now, if we really wanted to increase scale a lot, we might need another factory. So it's not necessarily that one type of input would always be fixed or always be variable, but what we wanna think about is for small increases in production, is this something that you would need more of in order to increase the scale of production? So factories, warehouses, storage barrels, trucks, and the equipment is probably fixed. Now that you understand this distinction between fixed and variable inputs, we're going to go through an example with some numbers about a coffee shop and explore a little more how we might characterize production using numbers.